Hi, I'm John Kennedy and today we're going to be looking at the new Samsung PowerBot uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Okay, something very liberating about having a robot do all your cleaning for you. Uh, I think one of these days, not too long from now, robot vacuum cleaners will be as ever-present as washing machines and uh, dishwashers were in our households or are in our households today. Um, the only thing about them today is I think they're quite expensive um, and quite novel, but there is a great freedom that comes with having a little robot go around cleaning room to room while you go off and do other things. Uh, I think, you know, while some of the vacuum cleaners on the market there are quite excellent, uh, the physical job of having to take it out from under the stairs, plug it in, drag it from room to room, this uh, robot uh, eradicates that. It's going to get very exciting soon because uh, not only are Samsung in this business, we've had the Roomba around for more than a decade and more. And also we're going to see uh, Dyson come out with its own uh, robot vacuum cleaner in the new year. So that market is going to get quite interesting. The only question is really how affordable these devices will be. The, the PowerBot V9000, as it's termed by Samsung, uh, it comes with a remote control. So one of the really handy things you can do is uh, you can press play on it like you would on a music player. And it'll go off doing its thing, going from room to room. Uh, it'll go over uh, different dividers between rooms, no problem to it. Um, and also, if you want to, you can use a beam, a, a beam button. So basically, you press the button, point to the device where you want the robot to go. So if there's a problem area that you want to have greater attention, uh, the device will actually just go where you pointed at. The other thing it does very well is it actually has a scanner on on its top. So basically, it scans the ceiling of every room it's in. So it creates its own grid pattern which it follows. So make sure then that there are no blind spots missed, and that it will actually clean from room to room uh, thoroughly. Samsung claims the device uh, is about has a suction power sixty times more powerful than. Uh, conventional cleaners. This is using its own cyclone force technology which says uh, is as I said 60 times more powerful than uh, competing devices. Now while I can't measure it being 60 times more powerful than the Dyson for example or anything else, uh, when it's in working it does pretty much seem to stick to the floor and, and seem to do a quite thorough job. The other thing is the device comes with a pretty decent sized uh, holder for, for dust and dirt. So I've been able to leave it running for about an hour and a half, going from room to room uh, without having to change it. Uh, one of the drawbacks is it will still keep going even though the, draw, the, the, the drum is full. So uh, I think one of the things Samsung could do is make it more alert for telling you when, when it's actually picked stuff up. Otherwise you're just wasting electricity and it's going round and round doing nothing. So overall, uh, the device is very novel, uh, it does the job very well, it's very thorough and it's very powerful and as I, get, I said, there's nothing more cool than you know, having a robot going around doing the chores that you previously would have kind of put off. The drawbacks on the device are the price first of all, I think €999 Euros is ridiculously expensive for uh, a cleaner. I know people will spend three to four hundred euros for high-end uh, cleaners in, in the marketplace but 999 euros is the price of a second-hand car if you think about it it will probably last you three or four years and you go a lot more further with it so uh, I think the price is, is one drawback the other thing is uh, it will do a thorough cleaning of a room but it won't be able to do things like go under bookcases so you'll still need to have a vacuum cleaner nearby to you know do get into those awkward nooks and crannies and also do things like clean the curtains and stuff like that so um, while it will do some of the work it won't do all of the work but at the same time this is just the beginning of a new age of robots and I think we will see these uh, devices become as commonplace as dishwashers and washing machines as we currently have in our homes today.